thank you everybody for coming out. Um, the Chamber has been your leading business advocate since 1923. And with that in light, we're excited to present the candidates here for tonight's candidate forum. And a number of months ago, when we first heard the districts were coming out, we were really thought that this would be a good opportunity for the Chamber, in partnership with South Seattle College, to put together this forum and focus on some issues that aren't always addressed at the other forums, that being business, jobs, and education. Uh, and with that being said, I'd like to thank all the efforts of Pete and Elizabeth and then Lynn Dennis, our CEO, for putting this together. And of course, the, the candidates for being here. So thank you, everybody. So one of the things that I love about the Chamber and South Seattle College, and most importantly, West Seattle, is the passion. The passion that you find in West Seattle, that you find about the citizens, the passion to support the community, to support nonprofits, and to support local businesses. And that passion you can find in all of these candidates here. And we're excited to hear everything they have to say about businesses, education, and jobs. One thing that we have to say before we move on is that the, or, uh, the chamber does not endorse candidates. We will not be picking a winner, and we will not be endorsing any candidates tonight. But we do support um, all elected officials, and we like to work with you. So the chamber looks forward to working who ever wins this election, and best of luck. And next, I'd like Elizabeth to say a few words about the college. Thank you, Hamilton, and I'd like to echo my thanks again for folks for coming out here tonight. Um, I'm pleased to have two roles tonight. I'm here as a representative of the college. I'm our vice president of advancement, but I'm also the vice chair of the West Seattle Chamber. And that's, I think, been a really great partnership because one thing people may not know about our college is that we're the largest employer in West Seattle. So we serve about 15,000 students each year. Those students go on to get jobs. Those students are also people who are using your businesses. They're eating in your restaurants. They're coming to your community events. Um, so we care very deeply about this community. And our college was thrilled to partner with the West Seattle Chamber to get um, the candidates here tonight and to really try to do what we can to make this a great place to live and work and learn. So thank you. Question to you. Where is student? Pardon? I don't see student here. So we've got... Uh, so, we, so we've invited some of our students. We've got a couple of our alums here in the audience. Um, I, know I, met, I know I met two of them already tonight. Um, so we've got some great alums here. Okay, so uh, I would like to recognize we have a, a, a chamber member who is a table captain at, at each of our tables. So at uh, table number one, we have Nancy Woodland from Westside Baby. At table number two is Don Leverett with Windermere Real Estate. At table number three is Lisa Carney with DeFreeze and Carney. At table number four is Pat Jablonski with Newcore Steel. At table number five is Don Bazemore with Cornerstone Financial. At table number six is Jerry Cohen, a local attorney. At table number seven is John Felix with Avalon Glassworks. Table number eight is Sierra Hansen from Hansen Public Affairs. And table number nine is Jim Gunter from Gunter Consulting. So one, one bit of uh, housekeeping, the restrooms are out this door and to your right. Uh, all nine of the candidates uh, confirmed, one of them has not shown up, so we might have to combine table number nine into the rest. So the candidates have, uh, are sitting here, we, they, they picked a number, and, and that's the order in which they are sitting. So what will happen is they're going to come up, they will have one minute to answer a question that we have already posed to them. And then after each of the candidates, has, after we finish with all eight of these candidates answering that question, the candidates will then come out to the tables. They will spend approximately nine minutes at each table and then they will, they will switch to the next table so that they will make it around every table. And then they will come back and, and answer a final question. So with that, the first question that we posed to the candidates uh, is, if, if elected as our District 1 Council member, what steps will you take to support the business community in West Seattle? And we will start with Lisa, and you all have one minute. 
So, hello, thank you. Um, I've heard it said over the campaign trail that some people are concerned that one of my priorities is the enforcement of the city's labor laws. And I just wanted to tell you a quick little story. I was out door knocking the other day in the Genesee neighborhood, and I talked to a man who, it, he and his wife are co-owners of Filmateria, and I asked him about the city's paid sick and safe leave law and how he felt about it, and he told me that um, his main concern was that the city wasn't doing a good, good enough job enforcing it, and that created an uneven playing field between him, as a person who was following it, and other folks um, who were not following the law. It, it vanished businesses that weren't following the law. Some, one of the things I say a lot about enforcement of our labor laws, it was really good to hear a business owner in our neighborhood say the same thing. Um, you know, what businesses need most is stability. So I believe that um, when we look at policies, whether or not it's taxation or um, other types of public policy related to businesses, we need to make sure that we move carefully and that stakeholders are fully engaged so that we can give that kind of consistency and stability that businesses need. One minute. Thank you. <laughs> And it goes faster than you'd think up here. Um, hi, I'm Brianna Thomas. I'm one of your candidates for Seattle City Council District 1. And uh, as I indicated earlier, a proud alum of South Seattle Community College. Um, thank you so much. Um, I really did appreciate my time here at South because every class was by de facto an international studies class in set course because we've got such amazing diversity in the student population here and it was just an amazing learning experience. Um, what I hope to bring to the business community of West Seattle is not so much a, is, is a spirit of collaboration with the Office of Labor Standards as um, Lisa was mentioning earlier, it doesn't have to be quite so antagonistic as everyone wants to paint it in the media. The Office of Labor Standards is there to work with businesses to make sure that they are fully educated on the laws and how we as the city expect them to participate and um, engage with those laws. It doesn't have to be an us versus them sort of paradigm because we're all working toward the same thing. We're working toward successful small businesses. We're working toward happy employees. We're working toward an educated workforce. Um, and in particular, the workforce, in particular to education, go pre-K. <laughs> Hello, I'm Philip Tavel. I am also one of the candidates here. Um, and the fact is, business is something very important to me. I've owned several businesses over the years. For a few of them, I've raised over a few million dollars to get those business started. And I know what it takes to make business work. Um, and also, I would pay attention to my advisors. I'm endorsed by a couple of past presidents of the chamber. And the two big things that I would actually do is, one, I want to institute a summit where I would actually like to bring together business owners from all of District 1, from South Park, Highland Park, Del Ridge, West Seattle, Alki Beach, and talk to them basically about a District 1 comprehensive plan, about how we see business growing in this district over the next 20, 30 years. Where do we want to see businesses come in? What do we want to see come in? The other thing I would do to support that is make sure that the Office of Economic Development is properly funded and find ways to increase that funding and then find ways to work with South Seattle College because I think one of the things we can really do in District 1 because we have a college is prepare people for the jobs and the industries that we have here in District 1. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Carl Worsing. Um, I never cease to marvel at the power of small businesses to drive the heart and personality of a community. Especially in West Seattle, where we don't have as many large employers, our small businesses from restaurants and bars to retail really are what power our neighborhoods and what build our commercial districts. Which is why, particularly when I've met people on the campaign trail, it's so important that we uh, support policies and programs that protect businesses after their leases are up that keep them on the streets. I've talked to way too many people who, let's say after five or 10 years, when their rent increases so much, they're not able to keep their, their place of business. They have to lay off two, three employers that they have, employees that they have, and they have to leave the neighborhood. And I think there's something so immensely tragic about a business that may be one of the spurs that creates that, per, that neighborhood's personality, ultimately has to leave. So I'd be somebody who very much supports keeping our businesses where they are and adding as many new ones as possible. Hi, 
sorry, my name is Pavel Goberman. What I want to do, first I have to plan to create a few thousand jobs in Seattle. Also, very important to fight crimes. Um, also, have to, we have opportunity to create uh, or develop a fish farm. United States uh, uh, is buying fish from China. We have own opportunity to create a fish industry here. But it's not done yet. Also, improve traffic. I have plan to improve traffic. Uh, reduce ho homeless. Uh, also, uh, tax break. Invite some company with tax break. It's very important. We have beautiful parks here, uh, beaches, uh, Alki Beach, uh, Lincoln Park Beach. It possible, maybe possible to build a few, maybe one or two hotels in this area. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Jody Rushmore. Thank you all for coming. Uh, so, my strategy for uh, helping businesses in West Seattle is really a three prong approach. Number one, we're going to do advocacy for our businesses. Number two, we're going to improve the public transportation and the transit access to West Seattle. And number three, we're going to work on parking in our community. The first thing, uh, growing up in West Seattle, I've been here since 1977. I really love this place. It's easy for me to advocate for West Seattle. As I've lived through my entire life, virtually everyone I talk to, I tell how much I love this place, how awesome it is here, what a great place that it is to live. Uh, one of the things that I plan to protect is our quality of life, keeping it a small town feel, but at the same time we know our community is going to continue to grow and those are issues that we have to address. Speaking of the growth, we need to figure out a way to make it easier for people to get into and out of our community, whether that be public transit or driving. Seems to be in our city right now there's a war between public transportation and folks that drive. Seems like we need to address that. Thank you. Shannon Braddock, thank you all for being here tonight. It is very appreciated. So when it comes to protecting businesses in District 1, I, or working with businesses in District 1, I remember what it was like growing up and my family had two small businesses. One of them was a typesetting business that was moderately successful, was around for about five to seven years, did pretty well. You know, to, my mother could earn a living doing that work. And the other was a restaurant and the restaurant only lasted about a year and we had to close it down and it was very disappointing to our family and I know from that experience that we poured our heart and soul into both of those businesses. So I have seen from that perspective how much people work to keep their businesses afloat and to me I believe my philosophy is opportunity for all and that includes our businesses, small, large, whatever size they are. So I think that our transit and transportation infrastructure is vital to that. I would work very hard to improve that so we can move our goods and services and our people. I also believe making sure we have an educated and well-trained uh, workforce and living wage jobs available to them is very important as well. Thank you. One minute is shorter than we think. I'm Chaz Redman. <laughs> Uh, for um, the last decade, I've actually worked with the Chamber and the Junction Association to bring nonprofits and business communities together. One of the things I'd like to do is I'd like the Office of Economic Development to provide more services to businesses. They have considerable accounting uh, systems that we could use. I'd like Development, uh, DPD, to look at new uh, layouts for first floor structures, longer and narrower, uh, to facilitate you know, smaller businesses filling the space. I would like to work uh, with the, the entire business community. The first thing I would do is sit down with the chamber, the, the, the Junction Association, and invite all of the non-participating members of the business community to come forward with ideas and let's just get a list of what works, what doesn't work, what are the priorities, what do we need to do, what can I do at council for you, and continue the conversation. I love West Seattle. We've got a great business community and I've been a part of it for 12 years. <laughs> 